Hello, it is day 92 of 100 days, 100 videos, 200 questions. I literally just filmed the video before, but I'm filming this one because now I'm behind, since that one didn't record. Uh, I don't have much to add. It's the weekend. My office is, it looks kind of okay right here, but it is a chaotic mess. I really, I, I need to make a lot of changes in my life. I don't know why. I will say the one thing that I did do, and I don't know if I mentioned this, is I have these curtains that are just nice, sort of sheer Ikea curtains. I got them for something like $8, but they were so long. They were way too long for my office, but I'm always like, I'm going to hem them. It's fine. That's an easy hem. I can do that. I will hem them. But guess what I didn't do? I didn't hem them. So they've been following me from another office to this office, still sort of like the same distance away from my, my office chair, still way too long because every room in my house is like the same height ceiling. Um, and they kept getting caught in my chair. Like I kept rolling over them because they were a good like foot too long for the floor. Um, and so eventually I just cut them. I just cut them at the bottom. I just cut them. And will I hem them one day? Maybe. Maybe not. I just, I needed immediate action. And sometimes you're allowed to take the action that provides you with the solution that you want the fastest. And it doesn't have to be the most polished or the most socially acceptable or the most, I don't know, structured action it can be the action that gives you the result you want immediately granted like stay within the moral and value codes but for this it was just like I needed them to be short because I was so tired of rolling onto them and all of the drama that would come from that I just chopped them and it was great and now it doesn't bother me at all they're not it's not like anybody else can tell that they're cut at the bottom even if you came in here you probably aren't looking I think they're kind of even not perfectly but a little bit so it works for me. It was perfect, actually. And I'm very glad that I did it. All right. We get, we're running low on questions here, which is good, but we only have eight days left, this being the eighth. Um, so that's okay. I think we're going to do all right. What tools do you use? F Excuse me. What tools do you use for copywriting? Um, so I have a lot of resources that I've accumulated through the years that I use uh that are just like solid written copy or ways to, to go through copy. But some of the tools that I think you could use today if you wanted to break into copywriting and you weren't sure, um, I use AI tools. I use ChatGPT, the paid version, the 4.0 with plugins. I use Claude almost as much as Chat, maybe more than Chat. But Chat has some functions that Claude doesn't do. So I use them both. Then It's $40 a month for both of them, like 20 a piece. So for me, it's worth it. Um, I use Hemingway to make sure that my grade level is low and that my sentences are not that confusing. I use freeadcopy.com because sometimes I'm really stuck in a funk and I, so I'll use one of my credits there to sort of open up the, the, the floodgates. Um, those are like the main tools I use online besides like Google and Reddit and <laughs> like NCBI, which is like to look up studies and things. Um, yeah, I think that's my main tools. I use my network a lot and I will talk to people and kind of get their perspective. And that's it. Yeah, those are my main tools. Besides, you know, like Slack and Monday and like the things that I use as, for client work and Google, like the Google, uh, Google Docs and all of that stuff. But yeah, I think you have a pretty good starting arsenal if you have... Oh, oh, I will add a couple more. Um, I use VidTal to look at YouTube videos that are doing really well. I use AdSpy to look at Facebook ads that are doing really well. I have used VidIQ for the same thing to sort of get headlines and things like that. Um, yeah, so those are, those are a couple more that I will use. Let me see if I have any on my... My uh, favorites that I haven't mentioned. Nope, that's it. 
I think. <laughs> okay. It's already five minutes long. Jesus. Okay. I'm going to have to do another one where I have to split it up. Sorry, my captions app only lets me do five minutes at a time, so i got to, like, split it up. Okay, 92. Is there something you've dreamed of doing for a long time? Why haven't you done it? I'm pretty sure I've already answered this, but I'll answer it again. I want to write a book. I want to write a fiction book. I have started to do it, but it's really hard for me to continue it. I don't know why. I have this, like, mental block of, like, not being good enough to do it that I have to just work through. Um, and for me, right now, that's looking like creating a version that's just not that good. It's just getting it down on the pap on paper and then going back and revising it and making it better. So that's what I'm currently working on, the part of, like, getting it getting the bad version down and then and then improving it all right this is day 92 of 100 days 100 videos 200 questions thank you so much for watching i appreciate every single minute you spend with me uh, i hope you have a fantastic day a fantastic weekend and i will see you tomorrow